Join myself and King as Ramadi. Together we will devour the very God. You, hello, how's everybody? I wanted to make a video that's a lot less highly edited compared to the other how to punish guides that I have made already on my channel. And those videos are not really doing super well. I think mostly having to do with the fact that I play so many ways to punish the, the character. And since I'm going quickly onto each type of move that should be punished, at a certain at a certain way people are probably not seeing it a lot, uh, as much as i would assumed so instead i'm gonna go slowly and i'm just gonna give you small tidbits here and there and then i'll continue making more videos along the way showing you things how to beat this how to beat that on a particular character so for today's video i wanted to make a series on how to beat some of king's moves so that way you'll have a better time when you come across a king what should you do when you come across a king player and what do they do against you and how to punish it okay all right and this is usually the case even with people above higher ranks than the lower ranks in the game and that's usually his command grabs like stuff like for circle forward one or a lot of the times you'll see kings rushing towards you they'll do this other cases they'll try to go for giant swing and then there's the chain throws like for example if you press down forward into one plus three or into two plus four all you need to do is just constantly mash buttons press one two whatever i'm not even doing anything crazy i'm just pressing one to go to each chain throw same thing if i'm doing it to the two plus four I can just press 2, 2 again, again, oh wait, I didn't do it there, <laughs> one more time, just mash it, and there you go. Now, while you're doing these two types of grabs, or should I say the enemy doing those chain grabs against you, they can just alternate between one and two punches to change how they go to the next chain throw. And that's where it becomes a little difficult for the player to figure out, okay, what is the next throw and how to break that throw with either a one punch or a two punch to break it. Then he has also other particular types of throws that may come from, let's say, two plus three, like in the case of this move. There's also other chain throws that have different commands, unlike with the ones that I just showcased where you have to press only one and two, like in the case of this one. I don't know the other uh, follow-up chain grabs with this one, because this one is not like alternated between one or two. It's just basically just having to actually input commands. And that's where you're gonna have a lot of struggles with your journey in rank trying to face kings, because they're going to go for the grabs. Especially when it comes to when they want to pop open with their uh, Shining Wizard, which is essentially, again, like I just showcased, this move. Oh, they're going to their Cross Circle Forward 1 and so forth. Now, the easier grabs to really see coming is usually from the 1 2 uh, into his 2 plus 4 grabs. For example, if you do 1 2 into 2 plus 4. That grab can just easily be beaten by pressing 2. You break it by pressing 2. Then he has another type of string that is 1, 2, 1 into 2 plus 4. Same thing with this one. You break it with a 2 button. So when you see a king alternate between the two types in lower ranks or even higher ranks into these two, just make sure to just, just spam 2 to beat the grab. Now there is the case that they may not even go for the grab, they just might just do for this, maybe they go for 2-1 instead to try to mix up, to try to catch you off guard. Now the two first hits of 1-2 are highs, and then the third move is a mid. Now if you manage to block the first two hits and he tries to go for the third mid hit, you can actually sidestep this. But if he tries to go for 1-2 into the 2 plus 4 throw, then that tracks even when, if you're trying to go for a sidestep. Mm -hmm. 
So if you do end up sidestepping and he does go for the 2 plus 4 grab, you can still break it. You're not counter uh, grabbed when sidestepping, unless you press a button right after, like let's say a 1 or a 2 or, or whatnot, right? Your sidestep moves. So if you do sidestep, just press 2 if he does go for the 2 plus 4 grab. Same thing if he goes for 1, 2, 1 into the 2 plus 4 grab. Even though you're sidestepping the 1, if he still attempts to go for the 2 plus 4, try ducking the move right after. So that's one of the things that you, you should be looking for if they try spamming their 1, 2 into 2 plus 4 or 1, 2, 1 into 2 plus 4 grabs. Now, the scary thing about King, and I understand this, that a lot of people are having trouble with him, is that even if he does go for 1, 2 or 1, 2, 1 into his 2 plus 4 grab, he can still go for a crouching version that if you try to crouch, because yes, you can duck the grab, but he can just do this instead if he wanted to. and catch you off guard. Same thing with the 1-2-1. One, one. So that's why ducking a king player is so scary. Even if they don't attempt to go into the grab, they can just go for a hop kick. And catch you off guard. That's why the best thing to do against a king player is to either try to sidestep them if possible, and then if they're going to go for the grab, break it with the two. If they're not going to go for the grab, then you successfully ended up sidestepping their moves. If by chance you are assuming that they're going to then go for a grab, and they're not going to go for some kind of mix, or they'll try to go for a hop kick right after, then okay, you can then duck the move right after and then go for a punish. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how to break the other grabs that I just mentioned, the ones that have to do with the uh, giant swing or for the magic uh, shining wizard, right? These kinds of grabs, they can be broken this way. So, okay, let's say if I go for the giant swing, right? To break it, if you see on the left corner where the command HUD is being showcased, I pressed one, that's when you need to press. You need to press one to break the giant swing. If he is attempting to go for the Shining Wizard, which is the command throw that go comes from while running, this is broken by pressing 1 plus 2. So always be ready for that particular command throw. I would suspect that a lot of kings would do this more often than try to go for Giant Swing. Because it's much harder to go for the Giant Swing up front and catch the opponent off guard. And also, if he goes for, let's say, the quarter circle forward one, same thing, you break with a one. If you're still unfamiliar with how to break the grab, even with this video in mind, you can just go into the command list, move list I mean, you go to all te techniques, you go all the way down, the command throw. So again, here you have the regular throws, which is the uh, one plus three and two plus four grabs. These can be broken either way by one or two. And then when you move on to special grabs by like command throws, like for example, this one here, the knee bash, is a two break. Then you have other ones like this one. Oh, so I see a throw escape is one plus two. Then you have another one here, the throw away is one plus two break. There's other ones like this one, up forward, one plus two, break it with a one plus two break. So you get the gist. Again, these are all scary things that you have to be mindful of against a particular king player that you are fighting against in ranked. You gotta be careful what they'll be throwing at you, because there's other moves too, but I'll mention that in another midi a video so that you'll have better, how should I say, to digest it properly, so that way you have any issues with all the videos that I, I will be releasing. So if you guys like what you watch, please give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff, and stay tuned.